Welcome to the next lesson. In this lesson, I'm gonna be teaching you a backward crossovers to a landing position. A landing position, guys. What is a landing position? Landing position would be this position from a landing. We can also use this position when we've done a spin and we push out to a landing position, okay? So, some really, really important things we need to know about the landing position. The head placement is so important. This is one of the most important parts of the landing position. Your head needs to be slightly in. So not, it doesn't have to be totally straight, just slightly in, not too much. And the reason is this. So I'm gonna do a landing position, I'm gonna change my head. My head is in, and I'll change my head to face out, and I drop off that outside edge, very easy. Wherever you look, you will follow. Your body will follow, okay? So. Uh, <laughs> I was going to do it. I want to tell you something else. So, when we are in this landing position, and we're in this position here, we can practice just standing like this, and the head is to the, to the inside. We're making sure that we're on the outside edge here, and this is the circle, imaginary circle, so our head is to the inside, in case you were confused. And the arms are strong here, so from the side, my arms are in this position. Now, you may find you want to bring this one forward a little bit, just to help you. So when you come out of, a, come out of a, a spin or a jump, you can think to put this arm forward, but really it's the shoulder that is having the pressure to stop you from rotating. It's the shoulders do the work, right? But we, it always looks like the arms, but it's the shoulders that are kind of in charge there, okay? And then the, the free leg will be in a nice, like you're gonna bring it up here into a nice position here, a nice extension out, okay? So I'll show you a couple of those on a circle. So, we're going to position here, and we will be doing backwards crossovers, and then from here into a landing position, just like that, okay? So you can do a backwards crossover, landing position, come back up. Cross, over, landing position. And something to re really think about here is the arms do not change. So, if you're in a position here doing your backwards crossover, so your arms are here, and as soon as you finish the backwards crossover, you pick that foot up, nothing's changed. The head hasn't changed, the arms haven't changed, nothing has changed, just the, the position of your lower body. You've gone from here, and then you lift the leg up, okay? So that's why they're put together, because it really, really helps you work on those positions of the, the landing position from here to here. And point, always try to think about pointing pointing your toe if you can. On some of these positions, it will feel like you're doing a lot of work. If you were to touch your leg muscles in a landing position, it should be like a rock because it's a lot of work to really accentuate the, the muscles, okay? And now we will do it the other way, even though we don't jump the other way, although some people will be, there will be those small percentage of people that do go the other way, we still need to know how to hold a landing position or a nice extension the other way, okay? So, we would be doing the backwards crossover the other way, and then we would hit our position here. So, let's talk through that for a second. So, if we're doing the crossover this way, our head is to the, to the left here, and then we would come around, and we bring the leg up here. It's exactly the same, and what you can do, something that can really, really help you guys, is if you have a barrier, you can practice into position like this and practice holding your position here. So don't be like this. Still try to have that nice position, nice arch in your back. And you can even just try to do the balance for a second and come back and balance for a second. And that would be for either foot. So into position here, like this. And you could even just, even just hold with one and practice your position there and then change and practice your position there. And you will feel your lower back because you will have a nice, a nice arch in your lower back. You won't be like this position. We will be in this position here. And uh, yeah, give the landing position a go guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.